Well guys, here it is Tuesday night, March the 20th I believe, and I was out last night and put the rock nerd on it, and it turned out pretty good. You can see it, kept it half an inch below the door sill, half inch three quarter, I guess three quarter width of a tape and that is two light coats so I gotta prime that um, reason I'm gonna prime it is to get it the same color as the car so it covers good and go on there and back there that turned out pretty good so I got a spot prime some spots that went to the bare metal. All I'm going to do is hit them with uh, lightly with epoxy primer and then some 2K over top of that and just fan it out and sand it. I'm going to use the little starting line to valve this gun. Uh, I'm going to try to get the primer to come out with the 1.5 tip to get it on there smooth. Smooth as I can anyways. I gotta hit spots like that. I got a couple more little spots I gotta get um, with some glaze, just some little specks here and there. Actually, obviously I gotta wash the car down. It's pretty dusty. But I wanted to try to give you a shot of the panel. You can't see the pearl in the camera. I just wanted to show you that the orange peel, it's there, but not that much this time. Uh, there's dirt. That's those little specks you're seeing, and there's a lot of dirt. That's that light there, and reflecting into the test panel. This is the one with the two coats of pearl. I can see it here, but as you can see the reflection is good um, and Gary asked me about pressures well I use this regulator for the GTI and whoops I hit it borderline where are we here I hit it right on the tip of that yellow right there right on that line and that's around 32 pounds any higher and I'm getting into the plus uh, adjustment uh, and mine is the GTI so uh, I just don't know what this gun I, uh, I bought it before YouTube and I didn't know what I was buying uh, it only calls for 12 CF, CFMs my compressor is 18 and a half. I thought that would be okay. But I am having a lot of trouble with this GTI Millennium gun. And I got to get it worked out. So, oh yeah. I did the, uh, let me get you set up here before I wash this car down. Uh, I did the, get this camera set. I did the little primer test. I forgot to take the stick out so I broke that off and this has been sitting since Sunday morning and as you can see it's quite thick. Uh, it's probably three quarters of an inch thick but it is flexible and I think that's whoop it will break but it's not cracking just where I broke it but it is rubbery so I think that means my primer's good, so just did that little test there, HBR. Uh, I uh, couldn't find what you got there, space age or something, but uh, I think this primer's okay. It seems flexible enough, so. And anyways, um, yeah, the spot primer. Uh, Gary from Turbo Cobra was asking me about that and uh, 
I like giving advice, but I'm not sure if I should. Um, most of this is guesswork for me, and well, not really guesswork. I watch a lot of videos, and pay attention. Sometimes I get a few of the things all mixed up, but that's how I did it on the Mustang, and it seemed to work all right. Uh, all I have for etch primer is the rattle can. Let's see if I can find it. And when it comes right down to the final sanding, uh, in here somewhere. I don't see it, but I do have some in here somewhere. No. Anyways, uh, when I come down to this final sanding, if I break through any little spots, I will, like something like that. I'm going to spot from that right now tonight. But if I do break through, I will use uh, etch primer on it, out of the rattle can. I know I've got it here. That's a decent promoter there. Here's some worse. Like I said, I'll find it before I uh, actually paint. So, uh, anyway, like I said, I I hope that's the right way. That's the way I did it on the Mustang. Seems to work out all right. So, but I got to get moving here and get this thing. Got to get that primed down there uh, along the bottom. I'm just gonna put 2K on that and kind of flare it up along the edge, the bottom there. And once it sets a couple days, I'm gonna hit it with a Scotch Brite just to knock the little lumps and bumps off. And uh, it'll be the same color as this, so it should cover good. Oh yeah, John Kerry asked me why I sprayed the the curd. The curd is. Like this, and I was just wondering if that white paint itself was uh, covering good or wasn't transparent. So I, well, that's why I hit the card just to see how fast it covered. It's covered pretty fast. It's pretty uh, solid white, so I'm all right there. But I wish you could see the pearl in this. It does look good. Uh, it just I don't know. I can't get it. I can't get it on the camera. Anyways, I'm good. Oh yeah, the other thing too is if I can get that demo gun for this weekend, the SATA RP4000, I'm gonna try some more test panels and uh, see if I can see how it does the clicker. And another thing too, I'm going to throw a little reducer in that clear, which I didn't do Sunday, and I wish I had of just to see if it sprayed better and maybe go back to the 1.3 tip like I said this gun's driving me crazy I gotta get it figured out so uh, anyways maybe I'll if I can once I get this washed down I uh, start get my primer mixed up I'll show some spot priming so we'll go from there I'll be back oh, I wish I could get this on camera Say the orange peel isn't as bad, but there's some there. I don't know if that's normal for high solid clear or not, but that's what I'm getting. But it's nowhere as near as bad as it was on the Mustang, so maybe a little reducer will help. Anyways, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm just dusting the epoxy on. I got the 1.3 tip in there actually, and it seems to be working. Bare spots, I see.
So I'm doing anyway. Build. I don't think I have enough hose off the reel or off the hook. So all I'm doing just covering up the little bare spots. And pretty well got them all, I believe. So uh I'm gonna let that flash a little bit and then I'm gonna put the high build wherever it needs that. So anyways, I'll try to get that a little better than I got this, so I'll be back. Now well, guys, it's all white again. I just give the bottom there two coats of high build and just kind of fanned it up. Up the side of the car there a bit. Oops, try to get this thing focused all along there. Uh, that rough spot I had, looks like the high build took care of that. Um, all the other spots, got them, give the hood pretty much a whole coat, just to, so I can level it out with the 400. Um, you can see it's still wet in places. Bottom there. And I still got a little bit of epoxy left mixed up, so I'm gonna find my brush and brush it in there and down in there on my pats or that I welded in. I'm just gonna brush it in there really heavy, so. Anyways, uh, I don't normally make a video through the week, but just thought I'd uh, stick one up there. Uh, if it's a stupid video, it's just because I'm tired. <laughs> so, uh, just had to get this on so I can get it to dry and shrink and everything before Friday so I can get this thing blocked. Get the wheels back on it, get it outside, and clean this grade up. Uh, try to get it remasked and paint it this weekend, I hope. So, Hopefully the car looks better. You'll be able to see some of the pearl once we get it all in the car. I'm finding white's really hard to work with. You can't see what you're doing. Uh, when you spray it, everything just goes dirt. You just can't see. So, anyways, guys, um, we'll let you go here. Uh, like I said, I don't know if that's proper way to spot time or not. But that's the way I did it on the other car, and that's the way I did it on this one, and hopefully it works out okay. So, uh, I'm going to let you go here. Call the night. It is 5-7. Uh, it's been a long day. Um, as soon as I got home, I come over here and got this done. done. So, I'm done done for tonight. So, thanks for watching. All the comments, and I'll get back to those... Uh, 
videos. I haven't got to all the comments yet, but I'll get to them before the week's out. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.